definitely one of the more obscure album covers, but it says something. I just don't know how to articulate it. All the same, uh, a lot of strange ambient uh, albums this year, and we're going to talk about another one. So here we go. <laughs> Welcome back to Yes Everyone. Today we are talking about Agor, the debut album released by Corliss. Corliss has had his fair share of experience throughout the years. He's released two EPs previously. Only now we're getting a full length album from him and this thing is pretty interesting. I would have to say a lot of his Welsh roots have influenced some of the songs in here and everything else is just kind of going into that abyss of sound that we just kind of need as background ideas or maybe you actually do enjoy listening to this. I'm very divided on how I feel about the ambient electric subgenre. A lot of cool things are in there and a lot of other things are just you waiting for something to happen or you really want it to just allow you to have an ambiance for a situation that perhaps you will never actually experience unless you make a movie regarding that same mood that you think it is supposed to convey. That was a mouthful. Okay, let's move on. So there are some songs in here that I like, and there's more ideas that I like than maybe perhaps the songs as a whole. But I'm going to give you a couple of song ideas first before I make my suggestions for song highlights. The intro song, Yonder. It sounds like an electric handball. Yeah, that's exactly what it sounds like. Boing. Like, just kind of over and over. It's not a long song, but it gets its mood across, I guess. We go down to the seventh track, titled Frozen. This is a song that has a lot of that Welsh-oriented mood that I talked about earlier, some plucking guitar that kind of reminds me of Andy McKee, actually. And I don't know how many of you have heard that. It's a lot of very clever um, acoustics that take place with the guitar, and a lot of that is there, but throughout the song, not as much. It's kind of more at the beginning of the song, and a lot of ambient songs kind of do that. They hook you in, but then you kind of lose yourself if you're not focused, or rather, maybe you lose yourself because it is, in fact, that repetitious. But if you're not interested yet, now let me talk about the highlights. The first track I will highlight is the third track, Primes. This is another one of those slightly more interlude-oriented kind of songs, although it does its job sufficiently for me to want to include it in a playlist. You know, it's one of those rare short treasures that I find from time to time. And the second track I would like to highlight is the fourth one, titled White Picket Fence. The additional element that makes this one so much more interesting is kind of a I don't know if it would be categorized as a medieval lady-oriented voice. It has one of those more chants that I just think of prior to any true recordings that ever took place, but we know them from history somehow. And while I don't have a lot more actually to add to this video, I just really wanted to put it out there because it stood out to me, and I think that if someone reviews it out there, because I don't think this is going to be necessarily as mainstream as other albums, but I feel like there's a song that everyone else can probably get behind in here. You can add it to a mood playlist if that's what you're into. And if this just really isn't your thing, then, well, at least you got to hear someone talk about it, and I'm happy I did. Plenty of different vibes, plenty of different instruments that are going to add variety into the listening experience. But again, you're either really into this or you're just really bored by it. I'm not sure which is which. I still think it's worth checking out. Again, I, I feel like I'm gonna reemphasize a lot, so let's wrap it up here. So after having listened and reviewed this album with the following grades and the following categories here, how would I recommend this album? I am going to give it a good. If you don't get really much out of this, just know that, hey, at least you're 
trying out new things, and that's kind of how I feel about a lot of ambient music. I would like to maybe put a list of that together and see what are the moods that I most gravitate toward and maybe what I can insert them into throughout my life. That would be kind of a fun project, and an album like this can do that for me. But that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to follow me in my social media links down in the description below and insert cool call to action graphics right here. Be sure to follow these so you can come back here where you can discover, promote, and review the best in entertainment, culture, and lifestyle while not forgetting quality, values, and fun. And above all, get that yes in your life. See you next time.